crime. Isn't it morally indefensible that somebody like Stuart Gulliver, born in this country, uh, worked, in this, worked in this country for 12 years, even educates his kids in this country, uh, is paying tax on his worldwide earnings overseas? Well, under my proposals, first of all, the non-DOMs pay more, and I've just jacked up the charges again to get more tax out of them. But I do it in a way that does not, as Ed Balls himself says about this Labour policy, cost Britain money. And isn't it morally indefensible that these rich people should be not paying the taxes the rest of us have to pay? Well, I'm getting more out of rich people, including out of non-DOMs, to pay for our public services. But I'm doing it in a way that is growing our economy and making sure we get investment into this so country. So will you be getting more from the non-DOMs in future? Well, as indeed, we're about to increase the charges again next year. Well, I felt for some time we're selling ourselves a bit too cheaply. You know, we're, we're allowing very, very rich people uh, to have hugely advantageous tax deals. So, so I think uh, there could be something that I would call a London premium for people like that. Uh, but if we're going to abolish the non-DOM status completely, I think before we do that, let's just evaluate whether that might cost us quite a lot of money. Today's 